breaking news, Nigerians. Fresh battle. As obedient, make strong move. Boldly rejects September 16th tribunal judgment day. Gives shocking reason. <laughs> what is going on here, Nigerians? We ask. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Supporters of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, who are aff affectionately referred to as obedient, have voiced their strong rejection of the proposed judgment delivered date for the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal. The unverified report suggests that the tribunal has set September 16 as the day to deliver its judgment on the case involving Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Peter Obi against President Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Those involved in this outcry is an individual identified as Ukoma M, who operates under the Twitter handles Bident. According to the post, the proposed September 16 judgment date has been met with resistance from the obedient due to concerns about the potential consequences for the nation and its citizens. The assumption is that security threat might arise in the judgment day, creating a pretext to obstruct the judges from issuing their verdict. Ukoma M. wrote, Reject 16 September 2023 as day of presidential election petition tribunal judgment. It is not in your interest, neither it is in the interest of Nigeria. They will just they they will just cause one attack on insecurity or blast on anything somewhere close to the courts now and say judges cannot come out. Amadora go do anything. We reject September 16 on eyes on the judiciary. Tinubu certificate forger. All eyes on you, Aruna. Okay. In, in his work, he said reject 16 September 2023 as a day of presidential election petition tribunal judgment. It is not in your interest. Neither it is in the interest of Nigeria. They they will just cause one attack on insecurity or blast or anything somewhere close to the court now. And they say judges cannot come at to Amadioha go do something. <laughs> we reject September 16. All eyes on the judiciary. Tinubu, the certificate forger. All eyes on Justice Aruna. Another prominent voice among the obedient Bog Banff. Bog, Bog Farms printed out the significance of the tribunal's decision to select the last uh, available date within the stipulated 180-day period for judgment delivery. This timing, it is suggested, might offer a hint at the tribunal's inclination in the case. The question of whether the tribunal will affirm what some preserve as flawed and all constitutional election results in Nigerian history looms large. The heart of the matter seems to revolve around multi-key issues. One of the crucial points raised in is whether the tribunal will acknowledge the substantial body of evidence put forth to demonstrate that Peter B had indeed won the election, potentially leading to a call for re-election. Additionally, allegations of certificate forgery against Bola Tinubu have further escalated the tension surrounding the case. The outcome of the tribunal's decision will have significant reper re 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 repercussions for the political landscape, particularly regarding Tinubu's participation in either continuing his tenure or participating in a potential rerun. All eyes are now focused on the pivotal date of September 16, 2023. As the deadline approaches, in the nation is 
bracing for a potential pivotal moment that could either rescue Nigeria from a precarious uh pre pre six ending the judiciary honor and acclaim or propel the fragile nation into the abyss of conflict which could bring shame and dishonor upon those involved. The upcoming judgment day carries the weight of a nation, aspirations, and anxieties, whether it will mark a turning point for Nigerians' democratic process or plunge it into an uncertain future remains to be seen. Until then, the nation holds the breath as the saga unfolds, observing closely and hoping for a resolution that serves the best interest of Nigeria and its citizens. So Nigerians are really waiting. Nigerians are waiting, eagerly waiting to see what this, what the outcome of the, the verdict will become. But though Nigerians are still asking Nigerian judiciary, do the needful. That is what we are asking you. Nigeria have a, a constitution which the country has been following all this way. Can the judiciary do also? You have uh, before you, you have evidence before you, okay? Enough evidence to prove who actually won the 2023 presidential election that was conducted by the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, on the February 25th, 2023. Who actually won the election? Is it Peter Obi? Atiku Abubakar or Bola Ahmed Tinubu. On the, that very day, Nigerians will get to, you know, uh, know who actually won the election. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.